Aloha, this is Sky, the Soulful Progressive with FNN, Feminist News Network, the Feminist News that's right for you. Welcome to Sky in On Location. All right. Now, what do I want to talk to you about today? Bernie Sanders and his town hall meeting. And what was going down with that town hall meeting today? He was talking his basic policies that he always mentions, free school, free uh Medicaid for all, free universal health care for children, of course. But I want to point out something. They uh, had this man that is a contributor to CNN talk, but this man wasn't a DOS man, but he felt it right to ask a DOS question. So it was a plan out to smear Bernie with his question talking about does he really help the DOS so let's listen to the answers that he says and we'll go ahead and discuss all right mm -hmm. thank you Senator Sanders uh, there's a deep sense of mistrust for you by, by some within the African American community Many feel you undermined Secretary Clinton after her nomination by not showing enough support, and which contributed to President Trump being elected. Along with that, many also feel that you are at times racially insensitive, and by virtue of your background, don't reflect their experience enough. How do you address these concerns, and what's your approach to winning their votes? Well, first of all, I reject the first premise that you made. I knock my brains out. In fact, I just saw a letter today from Hillary Clinton, which said, thank you, Bernie, for working so hard in my election. All right? Now, on the second point, okay, we ended up winning among younger people more votes from young African Americans, Latinos, Asian Americans, Native Americans than Clinton and Trump combined. All right? Furthermore, if you look at the polling out there, we're doing quite well with the African American community. But let me just raise an issue here. Maybe you know, I haven't been as strong on this issue as I should be. I talk about the fact that we have a nation of massive inequality, okay? And I believe that. I think that's the most important issue we can talk about. But within that inequality, we have another inequality, and that is racial disparity. And it's important that everybody understands that. That means that the wealth gap between a white family and a black family is 10 to 1. If you are a black mother, the likelihood it is that you are you, you will have a baby that will die. Your infant mortality rate two and a half times higher than a white mother. If you are a black businessman, I remember talking to a fellow in Milwaukee, black businessman, said, Bernie, I can't get a loan from the bank. And his business is pretty good because of and all forms of racism in this country. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. So what's really going down with this and burning, let me tell you. See, what's happening is they got a non-DOS person trying to talk and handle up on questions and issues he's not responsible for asking. Now, Bernie was able to ask, and yes, there's a lot of DOS that is standing behind Bernie besides Killer Mike, and there is a Black Men for Bernie bus that is out there, but that isn't the issue. The issue is this man wasn't qualified to even ask that question, and Bernie does need to touch upon some things because this is his answer right here for reparations, and I want you to hear it now. Mm -hmm. right. Well, as I just indicated, there are massive disparities uh, that must be addressed. Uh, there is legislation that I like introduced uh, by Congressman Jim Clyburn. It's called the 102030 legislation, which focuses federal resources in a very significant way on distressed communities, communities that have high levels of poverty. So as I've just indicated, you know, I think we have to do everything that we can to end institutional racism in this country. It is not acceptable to me that the rate of childhood poverty among the African-American community is over 30 percent 
in this country. That is beyond belief. That African Americans die from cancer at higher rates than whites. So we're going to do everything we can to put resources into distressed communities and improve lives for those people who have been hurt from the legacy of slavery. So what is your position specifically on reparations? I ask the question because Elizabeth Warren, Julian Castro, they've indicated they, they well, want to What does to that mean? What do they mean? The I'm not sure that anyone's very clear. What I've just said is that I think we must do everything that we can to address the massive level of disparity that exists in this country. I'll tell you what they mean, because Elizabeth Warren has said black families have had a much steeper hill to climb. We need systematic structural changes to address that. William Castro has said, I have well, I long thought that this country would be better off if we did find a way to do that. Reparations. Well, I just, I agree with what Elizabeth said. So you would support, you would support but, reparations? But read what she said. What does that mean? She means, I think, I don't want to put words into her mouth, is what I say. Okay? Yeah, exactly. He says economic equality, but he is not saying what he needs to say, which is reparations. Now, Andrew Yang is talking about giving a thousand dollars to each family per month, no matter who they are. Well, that's a reparations for everyone, but we're talking about reparations for DOS. And he just wants to say the same thing and stand behind Elizabeth Warren. Now, it seems like Bernie does not believe in reparations, which may become a sticking point with a DOS voters. Mm -hmm. Because when they want something Pacific, they have an agenda. ADOS is a real group. They have an agenda. And to overlook this voting block, which is your oldest African American, this voting block, which is your oldest, is wrong. And I shouldn't have to go on. I'm letting Bubba run free, and obviously he's having a good time. ADOS is your oldest voting base. We've always been out there. We just didn't have a name to it. And now that group has a name. And to dismiss the group, dismiss the name, and say no reparations and play the quietly to the game. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That ain't the game. ADOS is playing. They playing reparations. If you agree with me with ADOS being a strong voting block for the African American community when it comes to Bernie and voting for Bernie, contact me below and let me know at Feminist News In and Feminist News Network. Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget I'm on Patreon all right and you can always PayPal me Feminist News Network all right so thanks for watching thanks for joining peace mm -hmm.